you butcher the scriptures when you say Kanish is is uh, 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 is not an Israelite. You saying uh, Kanish is an Edomite. Just because you see the word Italian band. You see? So you butcher the scriptures, man. And then if you don't, and then you'll say John 3.16. You butchering the scriptures, and then you uh, read uh, Revelations. Uh, give me, give me Revelations uh, 19 and uh, 12. We just gonna jump, hit that, and we gonna jump back. What we talking about? Cause then what Nate, then what them demons are used, man. Revelations 19 and 12. Right. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Yeah, and I just touch on this. Give me uh, John uh, 10 and. Uh, John 10 and uh, what is it? 20, what is it 32? Let me see. Yeah. John. His eyes were a flame of fire, and his head, on his head were many crowns. Oh, didn't I just say, talk about earlier about the many crowns? Because he's going to take the, these uh, heathen nation uh, uh, rulership, and mainly Esau. Because this Esau world. And he had a name that no man knew so, but himself. So that what they read and say no man knew but himself. But guess what? When you look up that word himself, that means the same. So if you in the same, give me uh, Revelation uh, uh, 2. Give me Revelation 2 and uh, 17. So when you look up that word himself, that right there means the same. So if you one and the same of the most high and his son, you would know his name. So that's why sometimes when we read verses like that, I say no corner man, because a corner man is not the same of the most high and his son. That's why he can't get it. So that's a that's a that's a that's a pearl through the spirit of the most high and his son. I'm casting to you, brother. Read that again, Revelation. Revelation 19 and 12. Right. His eyes were a flame of fire. Who is that? That's talking about who you English call Jesus. That's who that's talking about. You see? And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. Now, like I said, when you look up that word himself in the Greek, it means the same. So that's the key. And then if they say, oh, well, you can't look up, you can't look it up in the Greek. Well, you gotta break down, well, break down uh John uh 3 and 16. Because that word world there, if you if you take that on and saying that's the world, then you say everybody can be saved. So you just butchered the scripture. You got strong delusions on you. You got demons on you. All right. Revelations 2 and 17. Right. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. So he that hear, he that hear, let him let him hear what the Spirit said. You see? To the churches, to Israel, the Negro, Latinos, and Native American. They're scattered on the four corners of the globe. To him that overcometh. Where you at? Revelations 2 and 17. Okay. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of. Hold on. Jump up to 16. Verse 16. Uh, Revelations 2 and 16. Mm -hmm. Repent. Oh, repent. Because I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm having them read that scripture because if you've been carried away by that false doctrine, you better repent. You better repent. All right. Or else I will come unto thee quickly mm -hmm. and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Yep. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Mm -hmm. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone. Yeah, what's the hidden manna? That was the thing that was given in the wilderness to nourish Israel to feed Israel. And what's the hidden manna right now? This word. That's what's nourishing and feeding Israel. 
the elect. Okay, keep going. And we'll give him a white stone. What's that white stone? Pure. Pure, the stone represents uh, being acquitted, being acquitted from uh, judgment. Okay, that's what that stone represents. Being uh, uh, that, that white meaning pure, and, uh, and the stone represent being acquitted from judgment that's coming on this earth. Keep going. And in the new, uh, the stone, a new name written. Uh-huh. Go back. Yes. Revelations 2 and 17. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. Yeah, he that receiveth it. That's the key. Because if you don't receive it, then you ain't gonna know it. And like the scripture was saying in Revelation 19 and uh, uh, 12, no man knew it but himself. A corner man can't get it. And then jump up to, uh, what's that, where you at, Revelation 2 and 17? Jump up to uh, 11, see what that says. Revelation 2 and 11, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. What? He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Shall not be hurt of the second death. So in order to not be hurt of the second death, you got to know these scriptures, you got to be a part of the elect, and you got to call up on that name. Because the second death is thermonuclear destruction. Okay? The first death was the water. Second is the thermonuclear destruction that's coming on this earth. The wipe out of America. Okay? Uh, jump up to... Uh, and that, and that new name, it just coming back around. Because right now, only the elect know that name. But in the kingdom, all Israel gonna know that name. Because we're gonna be set free. That's why the scriptures say Jerusalem is above and uh, uh free. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be set free, it's gonna be brought back around, and the Israel gonna be renewed, and that name gonna be renewed throughout the earth. With fear, and all Israel gonna know it. So they, they just let you know, man. They don't know the scriptures, man. Well, that's why I said he over, he did overcome it. The let, we already did overcome. Really, we know the name. You know? No, I had John ten. If you've been chosen from the foundations of the earth, you already overcame, man, because you did let. You know? Let me get three and twelve. Uh, three and twelve. What was you at? I was at two. And I wanted. What was? Let me see what you at. Revelation. What? Seventeen. Right there. Uh, well, I see the first. What was, well, I say jump to. First death. Yeah. Then I. The That's, first uh, death. Right here, the second death. Oh, that's what I want. Seven. Jump up to verse seven. Revelations two and seven. He that have an ear, let him hear right. what the Spirit said to the churches. Right. To him that overcometh will I will I give to eat of the tree of life. What's the tree of life? That goes back to Genesis. Tree of life go back to Genesis. And what's the tree of life? The knowledge. The knowledge of the heavenly Father and His Son and His Word and they named. Okay, keep going. It says, To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of the Most High. Yeah, that's the kingdom. That's all I wanted from there. Uh, John 10 and 32. Yahweh shall answer them. Many good works have I showed you. Now oh. jump up to uh, Salakia. Uh, jump up to John 10 and 26. That's what I want. John uh, 10 and 26. But ye believe not, because uh, ye are not of my sheep. First Timothy. 
as I say unto you. Yeah. Oh, what do you say? Read that again. John 10 and 26. Right. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Right. As I said unto you, right. my sheep heard my voice. Yeah, you would hear the most high voice if you was his, if you was his sheep. But you got here with strong delusions. That's why you got paid off. That's why Nate Satan. That's why uh, 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 King of the Two Thirds is teaching contrary to the doctrine because they set up to the for the destruction, man. And you people are gonna get carried away. Uh, uh, they need to get carried away with the decoration that the Most High put on them. To teach you that, to teach you that madness, so you can, so you can be destroyed. Because the most I know you ain't right. That way, you know, you pray, Lord willing, that you don't get carried away with that. Because destruction coming to this place, man. Whether you wanted, wanted to or not. And you don't need to know that name, which is y'all boss him out with shot. John ten and twenty six. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I say unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hands. My Father which give me is greater than I. can take them out of their hands. Nobody can pluck them out. And then it says, I, my father, are one. So that means we're like them. So that's telling me right there, we like them, so we are part of, we are part of, we are part of him. So that's why he said in Revelation, uh, nobody, uh, nobody knew his name but himself. So we're a part of him. We know the name. You see? So we one with him. So like I said, when you look up that, when you look up that word in Revelation 19 and uh, uh, 12, himself, it means the same. Alright? First Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. What's the faith? The word. Believing, believing, because faith is the same thing as believing. Believing, believing in the name and believing in the word. What's good? Okay. Giving heed to seducing spirits Who and are doctrine them? of devils. Who are them seducing spirits? The people that's teaching contrary that's in Israel that's teaching contrary to the word. Those seducing spirits, man. And if you get caught up with them, if you get caught up with them seducing spirits, which has got Satan all over them, you know, Satan working through them, that's your destruction. All right. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, mm -hmm. having their conscience seared with a hot iron, Forbidding to marry. What's the precept on that? You got a precept with that? Because it's easy. Uh, Hold on. Okay. Verse 1? So verse 1 or verse 2? Uh, verse 2. Verse 2, Matthew 7 and 15. Ephesians 4 and that, 19. That, that what I want. Ephesians. You got Ephesians 4 and 19? Uh, that's what I want, Ephesians 4 and 19. 1 Timothy 4 and 1. 
Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, mm -hmm. giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Yeah, uh, uh, read that again. I, I, that was... It says, verse 2, speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. That's what they're doing, speaking lies. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, man. You see? That's what they're doing, man. Saying the most high, uh, nobody gonna have the most high in his son's name. Saying Cornelius, saying Cornelius is a uh, Edomite. Man, that's pure madness, man. And then you got you got some demons, uh, uh, brothers of Satan, certain things, and you got some demons out there uh, just freeze what that what freeze what that brother. Just like I said, uh, uh, which we know Cornelius is, is an Israelite. Like I said, there when I said uh, Cornelius is an Edomite, they will freeze that part right there and play that, and not play the rest of what the brother said. Because we know Canis is an Israelite. You see? You got demons that do that, man. That's a seducing spirit. 